This is Prime Crime Network. Two women in Greensboro, North Carolina, faces murder charges after they drove their SUV through a small crowd at a gas station. Lakita and Zanelle Tucker was among those injured. Lakita Tucker suffered very, very serious injuries, but Zanelle Tucker wouldn't be so lucky. The mother of two died at the scene. She was just only 30 years young. The culprits was Miranda Willington and Fanna Felton. They were charged with one count each of first degree murder and five counts each of attempted first degree murder at approximately 3.04 a.m. Now, what would these ladies be doing at that time of night? That goes for victims and suspects. But around 3.04 a.m., Greensboro police officers responded to 3028 Westgate City Boulevard where they located multiple victims who had just been struck by an SUV. Police officers rendered aid to the victims until EMS arrived. Law enforcement officials investigated the incident as a homicide, and neither Willington nor Felton have been allowed by. Several people were fighting in the gas station parking lot before the two women jumped into a car and plowed into the crowd. The driver, Miranda Watlington, ran over the victim multiple times, and she seemed to be impaired at the time with a strong odor of an alcohol beverage. That's according to her media outlet. And she also reportedly refused any field sobriety tests. According to jail records, Watlington also has been charged with three misdemeanors, driving while impaired, driving with a revolt license, and failing to reduce speed to avoid an accident. She faces two additional felony charges for death by vehicle and hit and run injury. Due to COVID, Miranda Watlington and her co-defendant, Fanna Felton, still is going through the court process and a lot of proceedings were delayed by the coronavirus. But we'll definitely keep you updated with this horrific crime right here at Prime Crime Network. I just want to ask the court, why did she kill my daughter? That's all. That's all. What was the purpose? That's it. She had two little kids, too. The, the fight went on for two hours. The manager at the store, they watching. Then nobody seemed to pick up the, police, the phone and call the police before it escalated. Two young girls is in jail now because of the situation they got into trying to get out to save their life. Last night after we came from the club downtown, we just stopped here at the gas station, you know, get some cigarettes and a scuffle broke out. And one thing led to another and out of nowhere, a car comes flying through, mowing down everybody in its path. I don't know why, why would you, you, It's very shocking to know that people are hitting people with vehicles. I think that's a very sad. For safety, we need to watch our backs. This is Mary J. Chapman, mother of accused murderer Miranda Watlington. This is Paula Edmondson, mother of accused murderer Fene Felton. They both want to say the same thing. We need to stop the violence towards one another. It stopped the violence, man. Stop the balance, learn and love one another. Both of their daughters are accused of using their car as a weapon after a fight, pummeling into a crowd of six at an Exxon gas station, killing 30 year old Zanelle Tucker and injuring five others. I'm just so sorry. My condolences to the Tucker family <laughs> and to everybody else. I'm so, so sorry. Lord knows I'm so sorry. You know I'm gonna cry, baby. I said we're gonna cry, but I ain't gonna. I was just so beautiful. I told you, I told you, you need a model. She be like, oh, Aunt Tammy, go ahead. Be up. She was just model material. So beautiful. Inside and out. My daughter's doing the best she can. She is walking. Um, emotionally, she's still got a lot of work. Spiritually, she's up. And she's fighting and doing it for her kids. I want to say thank you 
because you chose to put your life in jeopardy and you were hurt too. Just thank you to all them four people who chose to help my daughter and my niece while everybody else filmed and watched it. And one more message. Hug your family members. I need to take this off. Hug your family members. You never know what happens when you walk out that door. Crime, crime network. It was exclusive. It has been three years since a horrific and deadly fight at a Greensboro gas station. Two women who drove an SUV into a crowd of people during a fight back in 2019 have now been sentenced. Tammy Tucker's niece, Zanelle Tucker, died that night. Her daughter was critically injured. And just thank God that we can get closure and justice for the Tucker family especially for my niece. My niece is gone. My daughter's still here. She's going through a lot. She will never be the same. But when somebody loses a daughter, we never, I don't know her pain. I know mine. But she's in more pain than I ever could be in. I could never, and I love my sister Lara so much, and I'm sorry for her loss. My niece wasn't here but no more than nine months. She didn't deserve that. Miranda Watlington, the driver of the SUV, was sentenced to life in prison on a first-degree murder conviction. Vanna Felton, who was a passenger that night, was sentenced to at least two years in prison on an accessory charge. Thank you for watching Prime Crime Network, your source for urban and suburban and around the world news. Hit the subscribe, like, and the notification bell. And check us out on primecrimenetwork.com.